Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're doing another care plan. This one was actually a requested care plan, so thank you to the person who requested it. So let's get into it. KM is a 20 year old G1P1, so first pregnancy, first delivery, who has just delivered via cesarean section. She has never had surgery before and is concerned about her pain. She rates it as a seven out of 10. She is anxious about caring for her newborn. She has no prior experience with babies and tells you, the nurse, that she doesn't know how to do anything. So this is our postpartum care plan. So we have two nursing diagnoses. Let's go through the first one. The first one I chose here was a very special one that we use postpartum, and that is risk for impaired parenting. Related to lack of maternal experience, because she said that before, she has no experience, and as evidenced by the patient stating she doesn't know how to do anything. Our goal will be the patient will acquire and display attentive and supportive parenting behaviors and child supervision before discharge. So how are we going to check that? We're going to use the Parenting Sense of Competence Scale to measure parental self-efficacy. So self-efficacy, if you're not familiar, is your own thoughts about your own abilities to do things correctly. And our rationale, using the PSOC scale, contains three useful factors that reflect satisfaction, efficacy, and interest in parenting. And then for our evaluation, we can say that our goal was met and the patient displayed positive parenting behaviors by the end of the shift. Now, a lot of this stuff has to do with the fact that she's never had a surgery before and that's scary. She's never had a baby and she has no experience with babies and that's scary. So the whole I don't know how to do anything is just her expressing that she's overwhelmed. So our goal, our job here as the nurse is to educate her and to get her to feel more confident in her ability to care for the newborn. So that's why I picked that first nursing diagnosis. The second one you have to pick has to be related to this pain, right? Because she doesn't know what surgical pain feels like. This is her first surgery. She's saying it's a seven out of 10. So of course we had to pick the diagnosis of pain. So our diagnosis, acute pain related to C-section as evidenced by pain level seven out of 10. So she's telling us that's what her pain is. Our goal, the patient will report that interventions are effective at relieving pain by the end of the shift. And how are we gonna make this happen? We're gonna implement pharmacological and non-pharmacological pain interventions and then we're going to explain the importance of reporting unrelieved pain. And our rationale for choosing this intervention is unrelieved pain has both physiological and psychological effects that can lead to negative health outcomes. And at the end, we can evaluate and say our goal is met. The patient stated understanding of the interventions by the end of the shift. So for this one, we want to address the pain. We want to try a bevy of things, pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions to help with her pain. And also we want to make sure that she's always telling us about her pain, okay? Because again, this is her first surgery. She might just think like, oh, it's supposed to hurt. I'm supposed to be in seven out of 10 pain all the time. And you're not, that's not normal, right? That's not healthy or safe. So you need to tell the nurse when you're having pain. So that's why I wanted to include this intervention. So that was my video, Care Plan Postpartum C-Section. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.